This is the Hitachi C8FSHE 8.5 inch sliding compound miter saw. It's the lightest and most portable 8.5 inch slide saw on the market today. Weighing in at just 32 pounds, this saw can easily be moved from the workbench to a workstation or from your car to the job site or whatever you need to do with it. It's very light and very powerful. The saw comes fully loaded with a laser light, LED work light. It features a 9.5 amp motor that runs at 5500 RPM, so you're going to get a really smooth, clean cut. It also has the best in class dust collection with a dust collecting bag here, which is easily removed, unzipped, emptied, and reattached to the saw. It also has a five year professional warranty, so you know you're going to be covered, and it's backed by Hitachi, so you know you're buying a good product. The C8 FSHE comes equipped with a laser line. This can be used to mark either the left, right, or center of the saw cut. The saw comes equipped with four positive stops on each side of the blade at 15, 22 and a half, 30, and 45 degrees, which are typically the most common cuts that you'll need to make. In order to move the bevel, simply with your finger, lift the lever, and the tool will slide easily. With letting, releasing the lever, it will stop at each one of the angles that I aforementioned. However, if you're trying to lock the position in a arbitrary angle, which is not common, let's say for instance 26 and a half degrees, set the saw using the scale here, which is very accurate, and twist this handle. That's going to lock the saw at any angle you could possibly want, infinite adjustment wherever you need it. To change the bevel, you want to reach to the back of the saw where there's a lever. Reading the scale, loosen the lever and you can adjust. The saw comes equipped with a positive stop at 45 left and zero. Here it's at the positive stop. Now the handle can be tightened and you're ready to go. Similarly, loosen the handle, come back and the saw stops at 90. Now, in order to go past 45 or to come to the right side, 5 degrees, simply pull the pin located directly under the lever out. Now the saw can tilt 5 degrees to the right and up to 50 degrees to the left. This would be useful because we all know that in our old houses or when you're making specific cuts, you can't always guarantee that they're going to be at 45 degrees. Sometimes, in order to make the cut fit perfectly, you need to go beyond 45 or beyond 90. This tool allows you 5 degrees in either direction to accommodate for any type of variance that you may have.